Hello friends, this video on acids, bases and salts part 10 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So now we have been talking about acids and bases so much. So let us look at some of the examples in our day to day life where we see the role of acids and bases. So one such example is indigestion. Now has did it ever happen to you that you ate some uh, unhealthy food, you ate some junk food, you, you ate or you ate a lot of oily stuffs and then the next day you feel discomfort in your stomach, you feel pain in your stomach, and you, you kind of feel a burning sensation in your stomach. So what, why does that happen? That happens due to indigestion because the food doesn't get digested properly. So in one of our previous lessons, we have discussed in detail about how food gets digested. So during digestion, the food which we eat through our mouth, it, it uh, encounters a lot of enzymes secreted by the saliva in our mouth, secreted by the enzymes which are present in our stomach and small intestine. And as a result of the action of these enzymes, the food is broken down into simpler forms which are absorbable. And that is what we call as digestion. Now, when you talk about the stomach, so in the stomach, there is an acid which is present that is hydrochloric acid. Now, due to this acidic medium in the stomach, they, uh, there are a lot of advantages. Now, uh, there are a lot of germs uh, which might be present in our food get um, died or they get disabled in this acidic medium. Also, this acidic medium enables uh, an enzyme called pepsin and this enzyme helps in the digestion of proteins. So that is also another important advantage of having this acidic medium in the stomach. But when indigestion happens or when you get that burning sensation in your stomach, that happens due to increased acidity. That means increased concentration of this hydrochloric acid in the stomach. Now, when you have too much of acid in, in some place or when you have too much of acid in your stomach, how do you reduce the effect of that acid? by putting some base into it because base will neutralize the effect of acid that is what we learned in neutralization reaction right so in this case what do you do what do we normally do we take some tablets the antacid tablets like digene right so what do these antacid tablets do antacid that means anti-acid so it is they will work just opposite to acid so these are nothing but these antacid tablets they contain basic solutions what kind of uh, let me give you some examples of basic solutions for example magnesium hydroxide so this is a base or aluminium hydroxide aluminium hydroxide Mag magnesium hydroxide these are all bases and these type of basic solutions are present in the antacid tablets so when you consume the antacid tablet it goes into your stomach and there the, ba the basis will actually neutralize the effect of the acid and that is how the acidity level in your stomach will reduce and you will start feeling better and the process of digestion will happen properly. So this is how the antacid tablets work. So even inside our body, we have acids and bases working for proper functioning of our body. So let's look at another example. Have you ever come across somebody who have undergone an ant bite? So the big ants, sometimes when they bite you, what happens? So some acid gets injected and that is why that entire area gets swollen, it, it has a lot of pain and sometimes that infection spreads to other parts of the body also. So what happens actually is this ant they contain, they inject when they bite, they actually inject formic acid inside your body. Now when formic acid is in, injected inside your body, so due to the effect of that acid all these uh, side effects come up, all these uh, consequences which we see that come up due to this formic acid. So how do we uh, cure it? So how do, I mean, how do we come out of it? So for that we have this remedy of moist baking soda. So this baking soda is basic in nature. Baking soda is nothing but sodium bicarbonate. So that is NaHCO3 that is baking soda. Moist baking soda means baking soda along with some water. So when you put this, so this basic nature of baking soda will neutralize the effect of this acid that is formic acid. And that is how the effect of the acid will be reduced and you will 
be cured of the effects of ant bite. So let's talk about the soil treatment. Whenever we talk about crop productivity, whenever we talk about agriculture, we often uh, talk about manures and fertilizers and these are the things which help us to increase the crop productivity. They help in better growth of plants. So what are these manures and fertilizer and why do we add them to the soil? Because these fertilizers, they contain chemical substances which increase the fertility of the soil. Now, why do we add them and what do they contain? Now, the it, it, it has been observed that, so why do we add these additional uh, things to the soil? So what we want to ensure is the soil should neither be too acidic nor too basic because if the soil becomes too acidic or excessive basic, in both the cases, it doesn't promote the growth and development of the plants. So what do we do when the soil becomes too acidic, when too much of acid gets accumulated in the soil? What is soil basically? Soil contains lot of water, soil contains dissolved minerals, soil contains so many different chemical substances in it. In fact, the fertilizers which we apply to the soil, they are also nothing but chemicals. So all these chemicals, again, they are either acidic in nature or basic in nature or they might be neutral also. So when the soil turns too much acidic, in that case, it is treated with basis. So because extreme acidic or extreme basic soil can adversely affect the crop productivity. So let's see what do we do in each cases. When the soil becomes extreme acidic, then we treat it with bases. So what kind of bases do we uh, apply to the soil? For example, calcium oxide, calcium hydroxide, all these things are purposely added to the soil so that the bases can actually neutralize the excessive acid present in the soil. And that's how the acidic nature of the soil can be reduced to some extent. Now, similarly, if the soil is extremely basic, in that case, what should be done? It should be treated with fertilizers and these fertilizers what are these these are nothing but chemical substances so these fertilizers or the organic matter they also release acids in the soil so these acids will neutralize the effect of the bases and that's how it will reduce the basic nature of the soil so depending upon uh, the need of the soil respective uh, fertilizer or organic matter or bases are added to the soil so even for the growth and development of plants, soil, which is the mo one of the most important factor, there also we see acids and bases play a very important role. Thank you. Please visit www.examfear.com to watch more educational videos with a better experience. Please do not forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for latest updates. Thank you once again.